ladies. So today's the day where I am packing up the shop. Uh, Georgia becoming a little bit later. Hmm. I tell ya. I honestly, I don't know how to feel right now. A part of me's sad. A part of me's excited. A part of me's exhausted. Um, I really haven't had a chance to breathe. Um, once this is dealt with and everything's out of here, then I'll have a few days to maybe relax and, um, and breathe. Once I've, um, once I've got the shop stuff back home, then I have to work on my sublimation room. And then once that's done, I'm back to skip the dishes for a month. So really, I don't think I will have a day to be able to breathe because once I go back to skip the dishes, then I'm working towards my shop, getting into the new shop. So yeah, it's just going to be constant go, go, go. I, yeah, crap. <laughs> oh, well, I'll breathe in between, <laughs> I guess. So I'm just taking the yarn down off the... Um, off the shelves. Uh, the good thing is, is that little Angela from Opposites Attract is taking this space. So um, I sold her uh, all my shelving and my grid wall, so I don't have to do anything with that. I don't have to repaint all this. Um, and she's taking the mural as well. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to be exhausted. My hip is out. Yay. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a work in progress here and I'll take pictures along the way. Um, oh, I got this cool present from my sister. She gave me a photo album with all the pictures that she took from the day that I started my shop over in the other space uh, all the way up to now and put them all in a photo album so when I do this and take pictures and then I get into the new shop and take pictures it will show the progression of my shop so that's pretty cool um, yeah so anyway all right I guess better get back to it and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi, Aaron of Bees. So, we didn't quite get it all finished. Uh, all in one day. We got one more load left. To do and uh, and I gotta paint the wall and I gotta clean up so we're gonna finish that <clears throat> tomorrow morning and then I'm done surprisingly enough uh, we got it in three loads so that whole shop in three loads it would have been way more if we had taken the bookshelves and the grid wall and all that kind of stuff but yeah I know so that's good. Um, now I gotta rush to Home Depot. Oops. Now I gotta rush to Home Depot, get the paint for the wall, uh, and then go home. I got stuff in my car. George is in the other, in his van. Uh, he's gonna be unloading that stuff while I'm going to get the paint. And then we're done. So. Update you in the morning.
Hey, Yarnabies. Okay, so now Charlene and I are starting the big job of um, getting the room ready for the sublimation. So I didn't show you the big mess. I kind of showed it to you in videos gone back. So we cleaned the floor off. <laughs> I have a crib in this room. I got to sell the crib, but we decided to use it. That's all the yarn that's going in the shop. <laughs> oh, that's all the extra yarn that's going in the shop. So we have to clean off this table. Oops. This table, this mess here. And I just cleaned off this table. I brought in this one. And then we just cleaned out all of the yarn out of there. And then, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, geez. So, yeah. Uh, so, and then I've got all of this stuff here. So, yeah. So, now we got to set up the tables. And I just ordered a whole bunch. Oh, I guess I know. I just ordered a whole bunch of um, sublimation blanks, like mugs and tumblers and uh keychain stuff like all that kind of stuff that i can do the sublimation on and that's all going to go in there and if i still need room then i've got a white cabinet with doors downstairs that i can bring up and put here so yeah fun fun times yes now that we've got the shop all emptied and we're out of there now we're going on to this so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do little snippets of pictures of the progress and uh, I'll show it to you and hopefully we can get this done today. Yay! Okay, so we've got everything unpacked so far. This is my printer, or my printer. This is my heat press. That goes uh, that way. And... Uh, it's, um, ooh, yeah, okay, I'll leave it. <laughs> it's got a digital style pad there. I've got my parchment paper here. I've got my sublimation paper here. I've got my tape, heat, heat, pre heat resistant tape dispenser. I haven't got my tape yet. I've got my sublimation ink. And here's my printer. Ta-da! So this is, it's a regular Epson printer, but it's an eco tank, right? So, I mean, you can scan, you can do the regular stuff that you would normally do on a printer, but it doesn't have um, regular ink in it. It has the sublimation ink in it. You cannot put regular ink in this, otherwise you can't use it for sublimation. So, uh, we got the ink, out. Of, Charlene got the ink out of here, so I wouldn't mess that up. <laughs> And then over here is where I'm going to have my computer and my printer. And then here I'm going to have my press, all my presses. These are <clears throat> different heat presses for different things, like bigger tumblers and some mugs and like different size mugs, a tapered mug. And then I also have, um, oh, here it is. This is a heat press for... Uh, hats like baseball caps so yeah uh fun times i gotta just learn how to actually use this stuff. oh and i'm tripping over things uh now i gotta learn how to actually work this stuff so yeah fun fun times yay me <laughs> so this is a pain in the neck I have to put a syringe for my ink <laughs> into my printer. <laughs> so I'm playing doctor or nurse and I'm filling up my ink in my printer. Of course I did the black first and that was just a colossal mess until I figured out what I was doing. And now we can continue. But now I haven't even started using my printer. 
I got a black mess on the side of it, so I'm not impressed. I don't know how all you nurses out there do this, but this is a very precarious situation. But we will get it done. Hi, yarn bees. <laughs> so, <sighs> you did a thing. I did a thing. <laughs> As Seda would say, what had happened was, <laughs> um, so we're making bird suet, right? We're making, like, yummy bird suet. <laughs> and so we're putting in, here, I'll show you. Putting in bird seed. We're putting in lard. And we're putting in the black bird seed and peanut butter and we're also putting in dried mealworms so we're we've made what six seven of them so far and we're sitting there talking and all this stuff and I'm mixing stuff and I'm scraping the bowl and all this and I didn't even think and I got peanut butter on my finger and I put it in my mouth. <laughs> I spit it out so fast. <laughs> my sister stood there and laughed at me. She didn't say a thing. Just how many meal mealy worm body parts did you eat? <laughs> So, yeah, I'm, and then I put cold coffee in my mouth to try to rinse my mouth out, and that went spitting that across the room. She's done everything but bleach out her tongue. <laughs> it was, it was horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny, actually. Very uh, me. Oh, my God. It was, it was awful. Um, I, did, I didn't even think. The look on her face when she realized what she had done, that was Priceless, absolutely <laughs> priceless, and I couldn't say anything because it was so funny. I couldn't breathe. I breathe. I was bent over and a half. I mean, <laughs> usually, big sisters and little sisters play games on each other when they're younger. I didn't even have to do anything this time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, so that that's been my day so far. Yeah, you did it. It was. It time. was. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, so that's uh. <clears throat> what, what, yeah, <laughs> I, just, I can't. I have no words. I have no words. So, <clears throat> anyways, I guess I better get back to work, and I better keep my hands out of my mouth. <laughs> so. Hi, Yarnabees. So, as you can tell, it's dark. It's nighttime. I am so excited because I just I got my room somewhat done. I've still got a whole bunch of stuff, like all the yarn, still has to be dealt with. But that. Probably won't get dealt with till the end of the month <clears throat> or the end of January. So I just have to live with it. But I got, excuse my food here. I'm just having dinner. <laughs> this is my, let me probably you out a bit. This is my station where I do all my designing. Got my radio hooked up, my Sirius satellite. Yay! Um, I've got my heat press set up. I've got all my heat presses and everything here. I just got in the mail. I got my handheld heat press. So excited. Then I've got, I just got my travel mugs in here. You guys, I have a design that I am freaking out about and I'm hoping to be able to learn how to do it like in the next two days. <laughs> so I got some more um, coasters and then we got all of, oops, boxes. We got all of the sublimation blanks in here. So I am pumped. And I'm even, oh, I'm in the way. I can't see down here. See those? Those are pickleball paddle covers. Now, pickleball is huge everywhere. So I'm going to start designing pickleball paddle covers so yeah so I'm excited you guys I'm so excited oh I've got all the oh hang on I have all of the passport covers as well so I'm going to be able to put designs on those as well 
So, yay! So, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really pumped. I've been so stressed out. You can tell I'm breaking out. Like, I've been so stressed. Um, I don't normally break out. Like, seriously, it's embarrassing. 56, 56. I'm not 56. My God, 54. <laughs> and I'm breaking out. Like, anyway. So, you know, I've got my hair. Right, Bailey? <laughs> Say hi to the peoples. Say hello. So, um, yeah, I'm got stuff in my pocket. God, that looks terrible, doesn't it? Looks like a dumpster. <laughs> but I promise you, it's all yarn. And then I've got down here, I've got yarn. Oh, you guys. <laughs> I'll be so glad when I get into the new shop. And, um, hey, I wonder. Oh, whoops. Almost. Look at that. Ah, there, now I can put you down. Oh, um, yeah, so once I get into the new shop, then I can relax more. I start doing skip the dishes again on the second. Yep. Oh, hang on. I need to put my chair up a little bit. Oh, okay, maybe not. Um, yeah, so for the next couple of days, I'm going to be in this room sitting down and designing stuff. I started designing some car cozy or car car coasters. See. I was thinking about Lynette from Charm Grammy when I did those. And <clears throat> I hate people. <laughs> and isn't that cool? I did those and then there's a marijuana plant a marijuana store about a block away, half a block away from me, or in my, in my, um, my new shop. So I thought I would design some of these. Look like Barbie, smoke like Marley. <laughs> and so my thought is, wow, the color really changes on the phone, eh? Uh, my thought is, is that I'm going to approach them <clears throat> once I get good at what I'm doing on this thing and see if they want me to make them some products. Because <clears throat> then it's an extra stream of uh, income. So, and then my sister wanted me to make some, oops, some of these for her friend. So I did that and then I did these ones for, for me <laughs> and my sister. So, and then I'm doing these for when I'm um, selling stuff at the Dragon Boat Festival. So. So yeah, I'm getting, hello. Are you videoing? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. I have a naked George over there. <laughs> He's shaking around. He just got out of the hot tub. <laughs> um, oh God, stop. <laughs> so um, yeah, so it's, I'm, I'm getting, I, I now know how to do the coasters. Now I've got to learn how to do those. So. Are the East Coasters or the West Coasters? Are they the East Coast? I heard the you. West I just Coast? don't know what you what you're talking about. Yeah, I do the coasters. Are they the East Coast? Oh. Or the West Coast? <laughs> oh my God. I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> we live on the Pacific Ocean. It must be West Coasters. Oh, jeez. If you want East Coasters, you have to go to Nova Scotia. Talk to Angela. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just. I can't even. <laughs> don't make me think. <laughs> so anyway. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of days. And uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm not going to be doing any crochet for a little while. I need to get a handle on what I'm doing with this. 
so that I can get my stock going for the shop. So I've kind of put crochet on the back burner for now. Unless I need a break from all the stress of learning how to do the program, how to do the presses, how to do all of that stuff, then, then I'll go sit down and do some crochet. But I've got a lot of stock I need to do for the new shop. <clears throat> so anyway, okay guys, I think that might be it for this video. Um, thanks for joining me. And yeah, oh, I went by the market today. Boy, am I glad I'm out of there. There's a lot of crap happening over there. So, yeah, I'm glad I'm out. I, I made me happy. Made me, it solidified the whole thing for me. Now, so I know I made the right decision. So, yeah. Okay, onward and upward. I love you all. I will talk to you soon.